Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. So let's continue with our discussion on contract costing and before we continue, you people know what you people have to do, right? You people have to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for all the notifications, hit the like button if you like the videos, right? And share the videos maximum else. This is the last video on YouTube. Now it's all upon you. I'll see for a few days whether uh, I'll analyze whether you people are actually showing up with the results. I'll continue with the course on YouTube. Okay. Else this is the last video. Let's see. Okay. So uh, what we were discussing about was the escalation de-escalation claim. Talking about escalation de-escalation claim right that in case of increase in the prices of the basic inputs that is raw material and the labor if there is an increase in the price over the period of contract the contractee will compensate the contractor for the increase in price and if there is a fall in the prices in that case the situation will be reversed that is the contractor will compensate the contractee okay so the impact is on the contract price. So we have done one practical problem also in the last lecture and what we are done with is the last practical problem that is question number seven. Now this is a very important problem and the similar problem has been asked in the November 2020 examination, right? So you cannot say that sir, these kind of questions are not asked in the examination. These have been already been asked in the examination right let's see this is the last part for contract costing the last question for contract costing after this uh, the contract costing is over question number seven let's read out deluxe limited undertook a contract for rupees five lakh on first of july 1996 right so it is an important date when uh, uh, when you are going to start the contract on 30th of june 1997 when the accounts were closed Right. So that means the start date is 1st of July 96 and the accounts are being closed uh, on 30th of June next year. That is, it is a complete one year period. Clear. He says on 30th of June, the following, uh, when the accounts were closed, the following details about the contract were gathered. Material purchased 1 lakh, wages paid 45,000, journal expenses 10,000, plant purchased 50,000. Materials on hand on 30th of June 97, that is the closing stock. 25,000 wages accrued, wages accrued 5,000, right? Wages accrued. What is the meaning of wages accrued, sir? We have already discussed, discussed wages outstanding, right? The wages belong to this period 96, 97, but they are, they are yet to be paid. Work certified is given, uncertified is given, cash received is given, depreciation of the plant is given 5,000. So it's pretty easy directly depreciation is given to you right the above contract continued on the escalation clause which reads as follows now read the line very carefully read this escalation clause very carefully in the event of prices of material and the rate of wages increase by more than five percent the contract price will be increased accordingly by 25% of the rise in the cost of material and wages beyond 5% in each case. What does it mean now? Listen to it very carefully. He says that say if the price of material is 100 rupees, right? And it increases by 5%. Clear? That is 105. He says up till 5% there will be no escalation claim, no claim. Beyond 5%, if there is any increase, say it increases to 125 rupees for the next here we will give the claim. Right? So this is the meaning of this part. Again, we are going to read it in the event of prices of material and the rate of wages increase by more than 5%, more than 5% means this part, this is more than 5%, right? In that case only the contract price will be increased, right? If it is up till 5%, the contract price will not be revised. If it is more than 5%, the contract price will be increased. How it is going to be increased? 
by 25% of the rise in the cost of material and wages beyond 5% in each case beyond 5% whatever is the increase right this increase is uh, 20 rupees right he says the claim will be for 25% of 20 rupees he says increased accordingly by 25% of the rise in the cost of material and wages beyond 5% beyond 5% what is the rise total rise is total rise is 25 rupees right but beyond 5% the rise is only 20 rupees and the claim will be given for 25% of that rise beyond 5% clear the whole crux of this question the whole main heart of this question lies in this paragraph if you have understood this paragraph that means you have understood the question now it was found that since the date of signing the agreement right that is from 1st of july 1996 the prices of material and the wages increased by 25 percent the value of work certified does not take into account the effect of the above clause prepare the contract account the working should be shown as the part of the answer now he says you have to prepare the contract account and what he has given from 1st of july 1996 till 1997 30th june 1997 the prices have increased by 25 percent what does it mean listen to it very carefully he says this project started on 1st of july 96 right and on 30th of june 97 if a material was pricing 100 rupees on this date on the 30th of june it will be costing 125 rupees right there is an increase of 25 percent between this period clear and whatever the data we are given this data is for which date we are given the data for this 30th of june 1997 we have the data for this date that means whatever is the data given for material and wages it is after 25 percent increase are you getting the point this data sir 1 lakh rupees 45,000. this is on 30th of june here the material price is 1 lakh rupees and the wages are 45,000 rupees plus 5,000 for accrued here minus 25,000 because material at site so whatever is the data given this is for 30th of june and the question says that from 1st of july 96 to 30th of june there is an increase of 25 percent in the in this right so that means this 1 lakh and 45,000. this is after 25 percent increase this is after 25 percent increase in cost clear that means the original values on this date were something else right so what we have to find out is we have to find out now he says that it has increased by 25 percent now we have to sp split it out by five percent no claim up till five percent there will be no claim and beyond five percent will give the claim clear so what you have to do you have to prepare the contract account let's see two material one lakh rupees given any doubts no sir wages fifty thousand sir wages are forty five thousand exactly forty five thousand plus five thousand accrued sir why we are taking the accrued wages here because these wages belong to this period we have not paid yet but this is an expenditure of this period only clear to general expenses 10,000 the plant depreciation is given to in the question now listen to the plant depreciation they have given the original value of 50,000 and they have given the depreciation 5,000 so what you can do is you can either directly write it like this or alternatively what you can do is you can take here two plant alternatively you can take two plant 50,000 and here you can take by plant 45,000 so this is another alternative presentation of writing the plant depreciation or you can because the question has directly given us the depreciation so we can write it directly also right so i have given you the alternative presentation that how you can alternatively present it both ways are correct 
डब्ल्यू आई पी इज गिवन टू यू वर्क सर्टिफाइड वर्क अनसर्टिफाइड मटीरियल एट साइड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज गिवन टू यू नाउ दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट एस्कलेशन क्लेम राइट वर्किंग नोट नंबर वन लेट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर द वर्किंग नोट नाउ वर्किंग नोट नंबर वन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एस्कलेशन क्लेम कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एस्कलेशन क्लेम राइट ओके सो आई विल राइट टोटल इंक्रीज हेयर टोटल इंक्रीज अप टू फाइव परसेंट then beyond 5% sir why we are writing up to 5% and beyond 5% because up to 5% there will be no claim and beyond 5% we have to pay the claim the first thing that we have to take is material the first of all just tell me sir what is the material expenditure that has been incurred during this period listen to the word i'm saying i'm saying tell me the material expenditure that has been actually incurred material used i can say during this period sir 1 lakh was the purchases and 25000 is still lying at site so that means during this period i have consumed the material worth rupees 75000 so i can place a claim for only 75000 25000 is still there we haven't used that there is no expenditure 25000 is still at site right so whatever we have used 75000 we have used so first thing is i will take 1 lakh minus 25000 which is lying in store now this 75000 is after an increase of 25% right this is what i told you that we are given the data for this particular date on this date if the value is 75000 rupees that means it is after an increase of 25% right so that means it is a 125 rupees value just listen to it very carefully what i'm saying is it is after an increase so something which was 100 rupees it has increased to 125 right so at this point we are given 75000 rupees so if the price is 125 my value is 75000 now i want to find out the increase what is the increase 25 rupees so can you tell me the increase sir 75000 divided by 125 multiplied by 25 right that comes to 15000 this is my increase that means the original value here was 60000 which increased to 75000 25% increase it increased to 75000 so what i wanted to find out was this increase i wanted to find out this part right which is 15000 so how i have to write it here is multiplied by 25 divided by 125 right this is the 125 rupees value i want to find out only the increased part in this that is 25% so the total increase is 15000 now if you have calculated the 25% increase can you calculate what is the increase up to 5% that is 3000 sir how it is calculated 75000 multiplied by 5 by 125 what is the remaining part 12000 beyond 5% is 12000 if 3000 is the increase till 5% and beyond 5% it is 12000 now similarly we are going to discuss for the labor what is the total expenditure take 50000 and not 45000 sir accrued wages is again an expenditure for the current year so you have to consider it so this is after an increase of 25% so 25 by 125 right 25 by 125 the total increase is 10000 rupees up to 5% how you will calculate sir 50000 multiplied by 5 by 125 right this 50000 is equivalent to 125 rupees so what is the value which is equivalent to 5% which has increased that is 2000 the remaining 8000 is beyond 5% any doubts up till this point this is the most important point here now i hope this working note is clear 
right how we have calculated what we have calculated is total increase right we are not calculating the 100 value what i am calculating is the increase in this value this 15000 here right so the, the prices which are given are after the increase because they are given on the last date on the last date from the first date till the last date there is an increase of 25 percent right so that means this value is after an increase of 25 percent it is equivalent to 125 rupees so i wanted to calculate the equivalent value of 25 rupees which have increased right so that is 15,000. clear now for the question says for this part for this part what is the claim 5000 rupees right and for this part it is 20000 rupees clear he says we are not going to pay anything for this up to 5% we are not going to pay even a single penny what we are going to pay is for this amount but are we going to pay 20000 full amount no sir what is going to be my increase in contract price increase in contract price i'm not going to pay the full 20000 what i'm going to pay is 25% of 20000 this will be my claim that is rupees 5000 right so here becomes my escalation claim that is 5000 rupees any doubts in this point any doubts clear so this is how the escalation claim is to be calculated first find out the total increase then find out the increase up to five percent then the remaining is beyond five percent right this total should be fifteen thousand which is my total increase this total is ten thousand which is my total increase i have bifurcated the total increase into up to five percent and beyond five percent clear and the last thing that uh, you have to remember is you have to pay only 25 percent of this 20,000 you don't have to pay the complete 20,000 if you are going to write 20,000 incomplete the answer will be wrong because the question specifically says that increase will be 25 percent of the rise in cost of material beyond five percent right so beyond five percent increase is 20,000 you have to pay 25 percent of that only clear so from here you will calculate the notional profit easily 80,000 right and whatever is the amount to be transferred to profit and loss account and the WIP reserve you can easily calculate this is not for the CA inter students for others you have to calculate based on what first you will calculate the percentage of work certified uh, to contract price right that is 2 lakh divided by 5 lakh multiplied by 100 it is less than 50 percent so which formula will you apply which method you will apply that is one third of notional profit multiplied by cash received divided by work certified cash received is given to you in the question as one lakh fifty thousand so one by three multiplied by notional profit that is eighty thousand multiplied by one lakh fifty thousand divided by work certified that is two lakh rupees so this value will come to 20,000 which you have to take it to the profit and loss account and the remaining will be taken to WIP reserve. Right. Otherwise the question was simple. The only thing was the escalation claim that we had wanted to discuss in detail and this question has been asked in the examination. So mark it as important. You cannot miss out on such questions. Right. And if you know how to do one question, you can do any question on the escalation claim. Just remember a few things. One thing that is the most important is that escalation claim is only and only given for the change in the price and not for the change in the quantity. Like we did it in the last question, in question number six, we have given the escalation claim for only and only change in the prices, right? And not for the change in the quantity. This is the most important thing that you have to remember in the escalation claim because this is where ICI may try to trick you okay so with this what we have done is we have ended our chapter of contract costing I hope you enjoyed it right and if you want to continue enjoying these lectures uh, you know what you have to do right so the next chapter will be process costing it will depend upon you whether you people want it or not 
right so i want the responses from you only then i will continue with the next chapter that is process costing one of the most important chapters and i tell you the handbooks will be the must for all the upcoming chapters some of the things i'll be doing it directly from the handbooks right i'll be reading a lot of content from the handbooks okay so handbooks are must for all the chapters starting especially starting from contract costing till the service costing okay so next will be process costing let's see whether we see you guys in the next lecture or not till then stay safe stay healthy keep sharing thank you so much